back to Infinity Bladder. Many of you requested recipes for desserts that are eggless and don't need an oven. So today I'm here to show you an incredibly simple recipe for a dessert. Nutella cheesecake. Buttery biscuit base topped with a soft, luscious and creamy Nutella cream cheese filling and finally topped with toasted hazelnuts. This dessert is an absolute winner and it takes less than 15 minutes to assemble. How great is that? So let's get started. So for this recipe, these are the ingredients we need. For the biscuit base, we need digestive biscuits, unsalted butter and salt. For the cheesecake filling, we need cream cheese, icing sugar and a whole jar of Nutella. And finally, for the topping, some chopped toasted hazelnuts. So the first step is to make the biscuit base. For this, I'm going to add my biscuits into the food processor and blitz them up. In case you don't have food processor, don't worry. Just place your biscuits in a Ziploc bag and then beat them like this until they become a powder and then rub your butter in it. Simple. Once your biscuits have turned into a fine powder, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I'm going to slowly add the butter while it's beating again. So what you're looking for is a damp, sandy texture that when you press a little bit, it starts to come together. So once you have that, let's add that to our dish. Here we have a 22 cm spring foam tin. I'm going to add our biscuit mixture into this. And then press it down using my hands or you can even use the back of the spoon. I find using my hands very therapeutic so I'm going to stick to that. Okay, so once that's ready, I'm going to chill it in the fridge until I need it. Now let's get on with the filling. For this, I'm going to first add the cream cheese into my mixer. And then I'm going to beat that on medium speed for 30 seconds. So the next step is to add the icing sugar, but first make sure that you sift the icing sugar because it usually has lumps. And then we're going to beat it for another 30 seconds. Okay. Now it's had a minute. I'm going to add the whole jar of Nutella. I mean, what's not to love, dude? Yeah. I don't know anybody in this world who does not like it. If you don't like Nutella, please don't tell me that. Now let's beat it for the another minute. It's almost done. I'm just going to scrape the sides so you make sure that all the cream cheese and the Nutella is well combined. I'll scrape it and then give it a last beating. And it should be done. Okay. Whoa, that's done, guys. 
look at this. Oof, soft, luscious, and creamy. Wow. Okay. I'm going to keep some of this for me to enjoy later. But for the rest of the mixture, get your spring foam tin from the fridge and put the filling in it. Once that's done, I'm just going to even it out. So now I'm going to cover this with cling wrap and I'm going to keep this in the fridge overnight. I like to keep it overnight, but if you don't have that much time, then I would say a minimum of four to six hours. Now our cheesecake is done. It's been resting in the fridge overnight. Uh, now I'm going to decorate it with some strawberries and toasted hazelnuts. For the hazelnuts, since we're not using the oven, I just put them in a pan and toasted them for around two minutes until I could smell the light uh, toasty nutty uh, flavor and then chop them up. Simple. I'm going to cut the strawberries in half and place them in the corner of the cheesecake and then sprinkle the toasted hazelnuts in the center. It's going to be delicious. Okay guys, so we finished taking all the pictures. This was our photography setup by the way. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any food styling tips. Alan and I will do that for you in the future if you want it. So let me try it now. Mmm. So creamy. I'm not gonna say more. I think you should try it for yourself and let me know if you like it. When you make it, don't forget to tag me at Infinity Platter on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all my future recipes and adventures. And as usual, all the recipes are in the description box below. I'll see you next week.